We're going to start this hour with that breaking news. Former President Donald Trump just testified in his own defense in the defamation trial brought against him by writer E. Jean Carroll. Mr. Trump answered only a few questions in front of the jury. Carroll is seeking millions of dollars in damages. The jury is tasked with deciding how much the former president should pay Carroll over defaming her when he accused the writer of making up a sexual abuse claim against him back in 2019. This is just one of many legal cases Trump is facing as he tries to win back the White House. Today's case is all about the civil defamation case brought by Carroll. Last year, in a separate civil trial, a different jury found Trump liable for sexually abusing and defaming her. Mr. Trump has repeatedly denied her accusations. Joining me now to dig into this, NBC News correspondent Rahima Ellis and NBC News legal analyst Angela Senadella. So, Rahima, let's start with you. I understand former President Trump just left the courthouse not visible to reporters, but walk us through his testimony today. According to our uh, reporters and producers in the courtroom, when we take inside that courtroom, they said it was incredibly tense in there. Prior to Mr. Trump taking the stand, the judge had asked his attorney to offer a proffer, if you will. That is basically, tell us what your client is going to say. Tell me what the questions are. At one point, uh, while this is going on, Mr. Trump says, I don't know who this woman is. I have never met this woman. At that point, the judge admonishes him, telling him to keep your voice down, Mr. Trump. You are interrupting these proceedings while your counsel is talking, and that is not allowed. Remember, it. this is happening before the jury has come back into the courtroom. This is just the judge and the, the, the defendant and uh, E. Jean Carroll and their attorneys. It was tense. Mm. And he was told... There were questions she, she was told. There were questions you can ask, you can't ask. By my account, it was four minutes by the time he took the stand to the time he got off the stand. Others are saying it was only three minutes. There were only, as you point out, a couple of questions asked. One was, uh, have you viewed your deposition? Yes. You stand by it? 100%. Do you deny the allegations to defend yourself? Yes. I consider it a false accusation. At that point, he's now on, on the stand being questioned by his attorney, the judge chimes in, it is stricken. In other words, the jurors are not to consider his response of, I consider it a false accusation, as, as they're we pointed out. Decision. He's already determined that this is true. And then on cross-examination, he's yeah. asked about whether or not uh, the deposition occurred back in October 2022. That was very formal. Next thing you know, he's off the stand. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.